All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck at an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. Uh, Mocha is somewhere, I don't know. She hasn't figured out how to come over to the riverbank herself. Funny enough, there is a lower part that she can come over, but she hasn't figured that part out as, well, as yet. But when it's time to go home, like, she knows how to get to that part, so it's kind of it's strange. But anyway, um, today we're going to be working on two basic dishes. Um, crawfish that's what they're gonna be in Jamaica we call it crayfish um, so that's what we'll be doing by the river and I think it's very fitting um, I think in this video I'm gonna do first I'm gonna be doing is going to be I don't even know I'm just gonna freestyle it most things that I do I just tend to just freestyle the idea so I'm just gonna use you know herb spices you know coconut oil stuff like that maybe make it a little bit more spicy and then maybe in the next video which you'll see after before I even know will be a curry one you know so that's going to be the vibe um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do right now is to get more firewood. Before I stuck some somewhere right there, but now they're pretty much low. So I'm going to get some firewood and um, we can start this video. Oh, if you guys like videos like these and you want to see more, drop a like on it. I'll definitely appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Believe it or not, starting the fire is the most important part because you don't want to start cooking and fire is not hot enough. So. Yeah, trying to build up some coal under there. Yeah, let's get the firewood. Ah, look who made it over, finally. Finally you made it over. So this won't give me this won't give me much. It's quite heavy, I gotta be careful because this will knock me over. I'm not smart enough. Now you guys see termites in there. Alright, this should be decent. Mm. Look at Miss Greedy. It's not for you. Go. No. No. What did I say? No. It's not for you. All right. So, getting these crawfish a little bit cleaned up. In Jamaica, people call it crayfish. In America, they're going to say it's called crawfish. Yeah. Difference in pronunciation, but same thing, I guess. So, I don't recall ever doing crawfish before. Nah, not to my knowledge. So, just using my gut feeling here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to it. Of course, I'll season it again in the pot, but. Just to get that going while um, I season up the oils and stuff like that. Maybe this helps, maybe it doesn't. If you guys know, drop it in the comments, let me know. I'm not trying to be no expert. I'm just, you know, cooking for fun, learning as I go along and just using common sense, you know? Some things I do know, but some things obviously I don't. All right, so these are gonna be basically the seasoning I'm gonna use. I mean, pimento is not on it, but I'm gonna use pimento. Um, these are my favorite seasonings. So onions, you know, pepper, garlic, ginger, scallion, thyme, um, cinnamon leaf. Anything that you do, 
and it's season that you like for yourself you can always use it because again you're cooking for yourself you're not really cooking for others well you know, if you have a family then yeah but yeah that's going to be the whole vibe i want to put up enough seasoning so i can have for the next dish as well because it's going to be basically the same things with a small variation all right let's do it So I got those things um, washed off a bit. Use that little pot for a little storage there. All right, so it's cutting up a few onions. Well, cutting up some onions. For some reason with the pepper, I like seeing it visible in crayfish, I don't know why. Maybe it's a traditional thing when you buy crayfish on the roadside, I don't know, but I just like seeing it. And um, cut up some scallion. And a few ginger cloves. Not ginger, garlic. And uh, time I can leave it kind of whole. All right, so how I did it is kind of like have separation in the pan. So if I need a practical spice specifically, I can always reach for it. So no big deal there. I think that should be like the hardest part of the dish today, just the cutting up the seasoning. Everything else is pretty straightforward and easy. Now, I'm going to cut up the seasoning for the next dish. Alright, I think the pan is about hot. Should be good. So, let's add some virgin coconut oil. It's going to be a vibe. Virgin coconut, oh gosh, yo ho, you can smell that coconut oil already, it smells so good. Alright, I'm gonna add some seasoning to it. Throw a little bit of ginger in there, some onions, thyme, scallion, garlic. There's no gold seal butter. Yes, a Jamaican thing, I believe. But it, where most people might use it. And that's basically the seasoning for your thing. Next step. Drop those babies in. Because if you leave them, if you leave the seasoning in there too long, it's gonna start burning and you know all that. All 
already you see the crayfish changing colour. America crawfish, whatever. It's a nice little colour already. Yeah, buddy. So as I'll tell you guys, you guys can do dishes like these. I mean, anything that you cook for yourself, you take the time and the patience to cut up your seasoning, get fresh herbs, you know, and do it to your flavor and your liking. Trust me, it's going to be a really good dish. There's no doubt about that. All right, so I just put a little bowl over top of it so, you know, you can get more of an even cooking or a faster cook and um, let's see alright that's the colour we're looking for getting there if you're cooking crayfish or crawfish and it doesn't become ready no it's not done as well Somebody yesterday in the comments, or whenever they did say, so this is going to be a bit late, they said, um, salt in your hand, Jamaican people say it's bad luck. I mean, I'm a Jamaican, but I've never heard that one before. Tell me if you guys agree. Alright, I'm going to try this piece, see if I need to put more salt or not. Wow, pretty good, but I definitely need some more salt. Basically the last thing I'm going to do is just to add some of the herbs to it. Add a fresh batch of the herbs to it and then do a couple of stairs and then I'll be done. <laughs> All right, now we can dig in. Oh, yes, beautiful, right? What the hell if it drop? This is looking really good. All right, guys, I got this whole pot of crawfish to myself. I'm actually going to take out some and leave for Judah. Hopefully, it's not too good that I don't finish it. <laughs> but yeah, I got to go something for Judah and the other one as well because she likes crawfish. So that's going to be the vibe. All right, let's dig in and let's see how this goes. All right, so let's start with this one here. Ooh, that's hot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah.
you know, somebody in the comments probably a laugh for him and say, yeah man, serve him right, cause, burn him, cause, nah, give me none. <laughs> First you gotta break these things apart and then while you're eating it you have to look for any you know veins or tracks that needs to be disposed of and that's the meat oh yeah normally if it's a shrimp head if it's the head of the shrimp I'd eat everything, but crayfish, I don't eat ahead. It can make a very nice stock though. actually still a bit of meat right here in the head mocha doesn't really eat crayfish he's not really a big fan if I'm to be honest with you guys this could be a lot better if it was like um like fresh caught crayfish like it was caught like today today then it would be like you know flavor would be like not the flavor. Well, yeah, the flavor would be even better. pepper as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep I eat that mm -hmm. the one thing I hate about these dishes is just that yo it don't they only got a lot of meat you know ain't much meat to them I consider them fun food, it's just fun to eat. Man, if I had the time today, I definitely would have made um paper soup and use those heads. All right, so I just shredded this top for Judah and that there is gonna be from Mocha. Um, she actually eats it. Funny enough, she do. Come. All right, and that brings us to the end of another cool video. Um, for me, I'm a little bit disappointed because I wish it was a lot more crawfish. Like, I'd probably have to eat like five more pans of that to really feel satisfied. For me, it's just like a mini delicacy, pretty much. So, yeah. Unless it's like a big old lobster, you know, big, you know, crab claws, then I'll be like, yeah, but apart from that, nah, just a really flavorful dish. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, the next video I'm gonna be working on right, right now is going to be a curry, a curry crab um, dish. Pretty much gonna be the same seasonings, but just a different format of doing it. And um, yeah. I'm going to jump, jump over to that video, um, give this video a like if you did like it or if you just watched it, maybe you didn't like it, still like it. <laughs> and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember to see things guys, love, nature, adaptation and always remember, keep the link. So I guess you know, <laughs> let's do the review, how is it? Mm. This is good Steven. Wow, that's awesome. It's Judah's mom for those who have been missing out of... Right, I'm eating crime scene. <laughs> Tell you, it's that good. Cool. Nice.